This is the Student Master Teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke, Chris Monroe, and I'm right back at you with another real estate video. Today's video is being brought to you by WokeSource.com. Find more leads than you can even process at WokeSource.com. Let's see what we got. We got a phone call we're going to make here today. It looks like they're calling back. Hello, and thanks for calling. Hi, somebody called my phone from this number. Yes, this is Chris with St. Louis Cash Bars. Is this Velda? Yes, it is. Yes, you spoke to my assistant earlier today in regards to selling your house, and I was just following up with you because I'm actually the person who buys the property and wanted to get back with you. Uh, did you have a few moments? Oh. Yes, sir. I got all the time in the world. Great. Well, how was your day? Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Well, that's a good thing. So, yeah, I was looking over uh, some of the notes here. Um, says you're looking to sell your, uh, your house there, and you're still living in it, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Have you been uh, looking for a place to move to and things like that, or...? Yes, I am. I'm trying to find a two-bedroom apartment that's, I see, I only get 1287 a month and disabled widow's benefits plus my disability. Oh, and then, okay. so I got so I got to find something cheap for us to move to that allows cheapness because I have an old boy here. Oh, okay. Well, I can understand that. That shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, we've been able to help people in the past with finding a place um, sometimes, just depending on the situation. So in regards to the house here, it says it needs a lot of repairs. Uh, is there something major that it needs or is it more just cosmetic? Um, I want to say maybe cosmetic, but it would be up to that person. Okay, so if we were to buy it and we had, say, uh, money put aside to fix things up, what would be something would be uh, the best thing to fix up in your opinion? Um, well, like I said, the basement leaks, so you may want to fix that up, you know, so when it rains, it does get water down there. How much I can't answer, because I do avoid basement at all costs. Oh, you don't want to go down those steps, huh? Right. Okay. So, uh, is that from foundation issues or something a window or what do you think that water's from? I couldn't answer that because again, I don't know. Okay. Not a problem. We can definitely check that out. Now, as far as um, your goal here is, what is your main goal? What do you hope to accomplish as far as selling the property? Uh, getting enough to pay off the mortgage and. Uh, just getting an apartment for me and my best friend with our kitty cat and having some to help pay bills from that. That's it. Oh, okay. So pretty reasonable overall, huh? Yeah. Well, that's the kind I like. Keep it simple. All right. So let's see here. The so About how much is still owed on it if you were to take a guess? Um... I want to say about 60, maybe. I could be wrong. You say around 60? Hey, Chris, is that you? I'm guessing. Okay. But again, I could be wrong because, you know, my husband dealt with that. Oh, okay. I understand that. Uh, what is the monthly payment that's made every month? 520, I do believe he said. And that includes the taxes and insurance? Yes. Oh, okay. So that's uh, there. And then uh, I, I guess, would you happen to have like a, a the most recent mortgage statement laying around there or something like that? Yes, sir. I just got one that yesterday, but the day before. Oh, well, look at that. Now, on that mortgage statement, uh, does it tell uh, an amount to bring the loan current? Uh, let's see. I 
minute Kern, it would be $8,890.51. Oh, okay. At least they put all that on there. So $88.90 and 51 cents. Okay. So that. All right. And so for you to be able to move to a new place with the kitty cats, you and your uh, roommate, you said, your friend? My best friend. Your best friend. Let me get it right. And your best friend. Uh, about how much do you think that's going to take for you to be able to move and do that? I couldn't answer that because I don't know. I can't. Right now, I can't even find an apartment that has a place available that I can afford. So is that... So you told me you had about 1287 in income. Is that counting you and your uh, best friend? No, that's just mine on my uh, disabled widow's benefits and my disability. Oh, okay. So it could be just a little bit more if you count your uh, best friend's income as well? He's not working right now. Oh, okay. So we have to keep it kind of... Because it's probably be pretty difficult to get a two bedroom. I think you could probably get a one bedroom with that amount, but I don't know. I could do a little research and see what I find. Uh, one of my friends has property management service. Have, right. If I have to take a one bedroom, I can put a mattress in the living room for him to sleep on. I'm not above it. I know that's right. We make it happen, right? <laughs> Yep. If I have to do that, I'll do that. Or I can even find a futon that opens up into a bed. Sparring. Okay. You know, if I have to, I will. You know? I definitely understand that. So, yeah, that's the thing here. So, uh, we have a couple of different options from what I'm hearing so far. Um, depending on those repairs now... Uh, you said there's a little bit of a leak in the basement. Is there anything else major that the house may need, like say a new roof or? Um... Oh, no, the roof is new. My husband had that done about four years ago. Okay, perfect. And then what about like the uh, heating and cooling, the uh, heater and everything's been working? Yeah, he had a brand new uh, heater and air conditioner put in two years either the year before or two years before he passed. Oh, okay. So, yeah, um, I'm trying to think what else could it be. I guess the plumbing's been working good. The electrical's pretty good in the house. So, only the main... Yeah. So, if you were to guess, you would just say more so just try to make it updated to, like, say, 2023 standards or something like that? Right. Okay. So, it sounds reasonable. Um... So like I said, we have a couple of different options. Um, sometimes we're able to buy a house, just pay cash for it and be done with it, uh, just depending on what the numbers would be. And I'm gonna find out what that would be. That's one option just to buy it that way. Another option, um, sometimes we are able to do, just depends on the loan. Um, that loan is in your mom's name? Husband's name. In your husband's name, okay. And then has the bank been uh, communicating with you or anything like that as far as working out something? Or? No, they haven't. Will they talk to you or they don't really want to talk to you? Well, when he passed away, I did call them and I told them. You may have heard the saying, the fortunes are in the follow-up. Now there's a brand new system that is great to help you cold call, text message, drop voicemails, and so much more, all automated. You don't have to remember anything. Just set it and forget it. All you have to do is speak to people. Check it out, wokereply.com. It's a multi-touch marketing campaign where you can schedule to send text, voicemail, email, and even live calls all on autopilot. Check it out today, wokereply.com. That's wokereply.com. Haven't. Will they talk to you or they don't really want to talk to you? Well, when he passed away, I did call them and I told them. And I told them that when I got a copy of his death certificate, I would make a copy and mail it to him. Miraculously, I mailed four copies to him and they never received a one. Wow. Right? Yeah. It's always something, man. Um, but um, 
the lady that's been um, what I call my advocate. She said no, they got a copy because she even faxed them a fifth copy, and they still say they don't have it. Wow. Are you on the loan as well, or is it just in his name? It's just in my husband's name because I wasn't working at the time. Okay. So they said they they couldn't add me to the loan. Right. So I said, okay, I, you know, whatever, I'm good. Just okay. Do you? Not a problem. We can handle that. Now, uh, about the deed, is the property still in his name only, or is it in both of your names? It would be in his name. Okay. So we would have to do something to make sure we get it transferred to your name prior to selling it. So we can help you with that too. That's not a problem. Um, okay. I'm just trying to outline all of the hurdles because you know with this real estate, there's always a bunch of moving parts. So I'm just trying to make sure we can right. tackle every part of it. Um, let's see here. Um, is there a way that you could send me a copy of that last mortgage statement? Like take a picture of it and text it or something like that, if that's easier? Yes, sir. I can do that. Yeah, that would be great. Um, and then once I have that, um, I could probably, I don't know, maybe I can come by there tomorrow. If Will you be available tomorrow afternoon or something like that? I'll be here all day tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, because I would, I would like to come. get up, you can do that, too. Okay. Yeah, if you could send a, uh, if you could text me a copy of it, that would be great. Because then I can do all my research prior to coming. So I'll have everything outlined, what we need to do and everything. And then um, okay. and then when I come uh, tomorrow, we're, we're able to agree on everything. Would you be ready to get the process started by getting the paperwork going? Yeah, absolutely. Can you hang on one second? Because I like to include my best friend in this. Sure, no problem. I love to speak to him. So hang on one second. to give this video a thumbs up give it a like give it a share if you care as we're on hold if you like it what do you think about this do you think this is something that's going to move forward do you think it's going to be the friend best friend that's about to get on the phone is going to come in and mess up the deal what do you think I'm here. All right. Uh, he's not uh, feeling well right now, so he just said um, to go ahead and let you come over tomorrow and Okay, that's not a problem. Yeah, so I, I, I have no problem doing that. So yeah, if, uh, you can just send me a text message with that, uh, and I'm gonna text you right after this call, so to give you my contact information okay. as well, just in case it didn't come up on your caller ID. That'll give you my direct number and our company website, things like that. And if you can reply back with that um, mortgage statement, I'll get everything started on this end and then uh, we'll, we'll plan to meet tomorrow afternoon, okay? All righty. Any questions for me for now before I let you go? No, sir. All right, thank you. I'll see you uh, tomorrow. All right. Bye -bye. Sounds breezy pretty easy for right now so there we go we got a seller motivated friend there don't know if they're gonna be a good friend or a bad friend and mess up the deal or what uh, we have a couple of opportunities here so i think the arv is about 115 on this property she said they owe about 60 
So doing the math, my cash offer would probably be around that amount, which means they really wouldn't get anything. Or I could just do a terms offer and leave that loan in her mother's name, husband's name. Leave the loan in her husband's name. Let me put that in my notes right there. Husband's name. When she sends me that mortgage statement, I'm looking at a couple of things. The loan balance, how much to pay it off, because it says it right on there. The reinstatement amount, which she gave me already. The monthly payment, which she gave me already. And I'm also going to be looking for um, the interest rate. So all of that stuff, I'm going to get it in writing from her. So it's going to make it a lot easier for me to underwrite the deal to see what we can do as far as a cash offer or a terms offer. I would prefer a terms offer because I can probably put more money in their pocket because uh, we have to put about 9000 in arrears, maybe some type of repair as long as it's not something ridiculous like foundation. But it could be. We don't know yet. So we'll find out more about that. Come back later for part two. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos talking about these sellers, talking to these homeowners, making these deals within a deal. And for those are ready. So uh, give this video a thumbs up, give it a like, give it a share if you care. And I'll see you later. Big player, do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me. Find more leads than you can even process. That's multiple listing service. That's the MLS for your real estate agents. Absentee owner information. Find the cash buyers and flippers in any market nationwide. Pull a pre foreclosure list. And don't forget, you got to find those comps. Get nationwide access with multiple filters powered by PropStream at WokeSource.com. Get your seven day free trial today. WokeSource.com. That's WokeSource.com.